Hi, good life everyone, which you want here. So some of you will know that I have quite a few film camera and shoot film quite regularly. So because of that, um, every maybe every few weeks or so, um, I would got email or message or some people ask me about, okay, um, I want to start shooting film. I want to um, try developing film myself. Can you tell me uh, what are the things I need to buy so that I can start um, developing film myself? So every few weeks, um, I have to write up a, um, a little guide. <laughs> I take some photo and show them what it is. And um, for some reason, I never saved the thing that I created. So every few weeks, I have to repeat it again <laughs> and it again. So um, today, I got someone asked me again um, to tell them what other things they need to buy to um, try developing film themselves. I'm talking about black and white film, not color film. Um, I haven't tried developing color film myself but I would actually love to try that so I can share some of my experience with you anyway um, back to the black and white film development kit um, so that's why what I want to do is that I just want to do a very quick video to show you what are the bare minimum things you need to buy if you want to try a uh, development black and white film at home yourself it's actually a very easy thing to do yourself and you don't need a lot of stuff um, especially if you want to just keep it bare minimum, of course, you can buy a lot of fancy equipment and things like that, which I bought a few, but um, in the end, I found out you don't need um, a lot of those things. You, yeah, it's just good to have, nice to have, but you don't really need it. So um, let me start with the very, the basic things first, and I'll tell, tell you a few other things that you could buy that would help a little bit, but not necessary. Okay, so the first thing you need is a development tank. So this is where pretty much all the things happen inside this tank. So you put your film in it, um, and then you add chemical in it, and then you do um, the, 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 what's it called? <laughs> the, the, the film run, and then development it, and then change the chemical and things like that. So I'm not going to go through all the steps on how to develop the film. Maybe I'll do another video, but uh, yeah, just do a YouTube search. Uh, you, I'm sure you can find there's a lot of very good um, guide on how to do the film development. So yeah, this is the, um, what's it called? This is the Patterson Super 4 film development tank, which is probably one of the most common um, development tank that you can buy on the market these days. Um, open it up it can do it can do 35 mil and also 120 120 film so this is quite handy and you see if you do um, 35 mil you can do two row of them okay next thing um, you got a development tank and you need some container to um, mix your chemical and also um, store the chemical so for myself, I use two containers. One is a slightly bigger one, which is 500 mil. So, you know, with all the markings there. And then a smaller one, which is, what's that? Oh, up to 30 mil. So, um, what I usually do is that, you, I know, pull the chemical in here and then add more, and then put it there and then add water to it. So yeah, I found that with a small container and a big one, like this um, is enough for me so yeah um go find one of these container you can easily find it from the those you know two dollar shop three dollar shop all those kind of shops now, next um oops i got three one liter plastic container thing and i labeled it so if you can see it, if this one is for developer, this one is for fixer, and this one is for stopper. So um, this free container is for um, pouring the mixed chemical in it, or well, you can mix it in here as well, uh, up to you. But yeah, these are the three container for the um, each type of chemical you need for the the film development and again you can buy it from the two dollar shop or yeah any kind of those shop so only cost you two bucks or something each or a few bucks each 
so um, yeah, a total I need five container, three one liter, uh, one half liter, and a small one, 30 to 50 mil. And that's all I need to, um, in terms of container. Um, and you need a something to open the, if you're shooting 35 mil, you need something to open the 35 mil can. And um, I am using just a uh, can opener um, I bought from supermarket just like cost me I, I can't remember it's like two two dollar or something like that and um, it seems to work quite well okay so you have the can opener um, the next thing you need is uh, something I don't have here because I don't use is a uh, what's it called the the changing changing bag is it called changing bag but basically it's a light sealed bag that you can put your arms into it and then you put your roll of film inside as well and then you also put that can opener and your department tan in there so you open up your 35 mil can inside the changing bag and then pull out the film and then put it inside your department tank so um, there won't be any light leak um, but for me because my bathroom is uh, there's no window in it so um, I can do it at night and I just need to shut the door and turn off all the lights and it will become pretty dark inside so I just do it there so I don't need to change it back but if you don't have a room that is uh, completely dark um, either at night or you can't make it completely dark then go buy a changing bag um, yeah because you need it and the only time that you need to have a dark area is when you try to open up the can and pull out the film once the film is inside your development tank because the development tank itself is light sealed so um, once you put it into there then um, you you can do all the other steps in broad daylight and you don't have to worry about it so yeah if you want to develop a black and white film you don't need to have a dedicated dark room you just need a uh, changing bag if you don't have a dark room area that you can um, temporarily use to um, yeah, rip out the film and put it in the development tank. Depends on what chemical you use. Um, if a lot of time when you mix a chemical, the chemical you mix will be around one liter and um, you don't you don't use up all the chemical at once. So what, what you need to do is that you need um, a container to pull the remaining unused chemical or sometimes if you want to reuse your chemical as well which is also doable um, into a container so for me I use the this is the McConnell coffee instant coffee jar uh, which I find is pretty much perfect for my use because it is sealed and the size is um, I think the like a small one is about just about 300 ml and the big one is um, 600 ish mil so together they are one liter so the big one is like two third and the small one is like one third so they are pretty much the perfect size for me to pour the chemical back into the jar so I can store them and there are two more things you need to buy um, one is the thermometer um, you don't need to buy something really special but just make sure it can measure uh, 20 ish uh, degrees Celsius because a lot of thermometer can only measure from 40 degree Celsius plus which is way too high for uh, the chemical temperature you need for film development and the last thing you need to buy is um, it's actually something you probably don't need to buy because you have it at home it's just a normal uh, clothes pack you can buy a special one from the camera store uh, but just the normal one that you use you have at home is enough because what you need it for is just to hang the film after the development you just hang it up on your wall or somewhere and uh, yeah, let it dry so yeah just the normal one is okay but of course if you pay a little bit more you buy the special one they work better those are pretty much all the thing you need to buy in terms of equipment and then you need to buy three chemicals for film development which is the developer, um, stopper, and the fixer. Okay, um, for me, I normally use the Ilford uh, chemicals. Um, for developer, I use the Ilford microfan because this one is good for pushing film. I shoot with the Ilford HP5 Plus, and quite often I push them to uh, 1600, which is two stop 
higher than the normal 400 rating. I sometimes I do the triax, and I also push from 400 to 1600. And the micro frame is quite good for pushing. And for the fixer and the stopper, I also use the Ilford just because uh, it's easy to get them from my local camera shops. So these are pretty much all the basic things you need to buy if you want to develop a film at home. I do also recommend two more things. One is a squeegee. After you finish develop the film and you pull out the film from the tank, um, normally what I do is that I would use the squeegee to just um, apply a bit of pressure but not too much pressure and then just try to do it like this to um, dry the film so there will be no water spot left on the film after it's dried and the next thing is a little hose that one side you collect to the your water tap and the other side you plug it into the development tank especially that um, the Pedersen one so um, the last step of the development is to let water to go through the development tank to just clean out flush out all the chemicals and just make it clean so uh, basically you just plug into the water tap and then another side to the development tank and just let a little bit of water to run through uh, for about 10 minutes or so i think <laughs> yeah and um, yeah so at the end you can then drain the chemical and um, and, and that's it so yeah these are the two things that you could also buy if you want um, but if you don't buy it that's okay too you can just use other way to um, get water into the development tank and just keep water going as long as you follow the steps um, there are not too many things that would go wrong so yeah um, give it a try and then if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below I will try to answer you and then in the future I'll see if I have time to do a follow-up video to show you how I develop film uh, if not um, do a search on YouTube, there are a lot of very good um, videos that show you how to do the frame development yourself. I will try to see if I can put a few links below as well. So yep, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time.